Ethan Dewitz had the perfect life. He came from an incredibly wealthy family who had earned their money after building up a company from the ground up. As well as that, Ethan was incredibly fortunate in the looks department, with many people commenting on his appearance and telling him he looked very handsome. Despite all of his good fortune, the man had remained humble and didn't let his wealth or popularity get to his head. His parents had always taught him that his personality and how he treated others was worth much more than any money or fame he had. Ethan had taken these teachings to heart and had made sure that he treated everyone with the respect and kindness that they deserved. Because of his sweet and incredibly kind nature though, this just made him even more popular, especially with the girls. From a young teenager, when he had just hit puberty and girls were starting to take notice of him, Ethan would constantly be surrounded by girls who wanted to date him. At first, the young man wasn't too bothered by their advances. At that age, he was much more interested in playing with his friends and making sure that he was learning everything he needed to know so that he could take over his family's company one day. As Ethan got older though, he began to pay more attention to all of the women who would try and catch his attention on a daily basis. To begin with, the young man would always give the girls a chance and he went on numerous dates with a lot of women. However, there was always one very common and repetitive problem with them. They were only interested in his looks and his money. Whenever Ethan tried to have a deeper and more meaningful conversation with the girls he went on dates with, they would immediately get bored and ask whether they could go somewhere either private so that it was just the two of them or somewhere more expensive so they could spend more money. Eventually, Ethan got fed up with dating and decided not to do it again unless it was with someone that he felt a truly special connection with. He wanted someone that he could spend time with and actually have an interesting conversation with. One day, as he was walking down the street, Ethan ended up bumping into a young woman who looked to be helping a stray dog. She was trying to get the canine's attention by giving it some food. Curious about why she was doing that, Ethan asked her what she was up to. The young woman, whose name was Holly, told Ethan that she worked for a local animal shelter and that she had been called out by a member of the public who had spotted the homeless dog. Holly had arrived hoping that she could be able to capture the canine and take it back to her shelter so that it could be looked after properly and hopefully find its new forever home. Upon hearing the young woman's story, Ethan was immediately enthralled by her. The young man had never met someone quite like Holly. She was beautiful both inside and out, and he definitely wanted to know more about her. With this in mind, Ethan decided to ask Holly on a date. He knew that all of his precious dates had ended badly, and he had a good feeling about Holly and wanted to take the risk to get to know her. The young woman was quite shy and didn't know what to say at first, but she eventually agreed to go out with him. Ethan couldn't believe it. He was so happy that he couldn't wait for their date. Only a couple of days after meeting, Ethan and Holly went on their date. However, instead of going to a fancy restaurant and ordering the most expensive thing on the menu, Holly asked if they could go to a small, local, crazy golf park instead and have some to-go hot dogs as food. Ethan immediately agreed, happy to be doing something interesting and fun instead of the same old usual dates. The two really hit it off, with both Ethan and Holly telling one another all about their lives, their likes and dislikes and their dreams for the future. It was truly the best date that Ethan had ever been on. After that, the young man and woman began to see each other more often. They went on a few more dates each as fun and amazing as the last, before deciding to take their relationship to the next level and introduce one another to their parents. Thankfully, both Ethan's and Holly's parents loved their new partner and gave the young couple their blessing. With the family's approval, Ethan finally decided to pop the question a few more months into their relationship. Holly was thrilled when he asked her to marry him, and she instantly said yes. She loved Ethan with all of her heart and wanted to be with him for as long as he wanted to be with her. After the engagement, Holly and Ethan decided to go out and celebrate their news with their friends. However, when Ethan introduced his new fiancé to his friends, they began to ridicule her. They told Ethan that she was simply marrying him for his money, like all of the other girls tried to do, and that he would be better off without her. Ethan didn't want to believe them, but after a lot of pressuring, the young man began to doubt himself. 
What if she really was only interested in his money? He didn't want to marry a gold digger. With this in mind, Ethan and his friends came up with a way to test Holly's loyalty. They would have Ethan tell her that his parents' company had just gone bankrupt and that he had no money at all. They would then have one of Ethan's friends hit on her to see if she was truly loyal or just after the money. A few days later, Ethan put his plan into action. He told Holly that his parents' company had gone bust and that they lost everything. Holly responded straight away and asked him if he was okay and if he needed anything. Ethan told her that he wouldn't mind some ice cream from the local shop, to which Holly immediately went to try and cheer him up. Ethan followed his fiancée without her knowing and watched as one of his friends bumped into her like they had planned. The friend began to flirt with Holly, who looked very uncomfortable the entire time. She then told the friend that she wasn't interested in him as she had a fiancé who she loved dearly. After seeing this display of love and loyalty, Ethan was beside himself in joy. Holly truly did love him for who he was and not just because he was rich or handsome. The young man began to cry and when Holly got back home he told her everything. After explaining that he had tested her loyalty and love to him through his plan, Holly couldn't believe it. She felt hurt and betrayed that Ethan had done that to her. She thought that he loved her and that he knew she loved him. She had never cared about his money or status and she thought that she had made that quite clear to him. Feeling devastated at how he had treated her, Holly asked Ethan to call off the wedding and told him that she needed a bit more time to herself to figure out what she was going to do. Ethan tried to stop her, but he had damaged her trust in him and had no choice but to let her go. After a couple of months, with the two of them staying in touch and Ethan apologizing a lot to Holly, the young woman decided to give him a second chance. She loved him too much to be apart from him and wanted to be with him. However, she did warn him that if he ever pulled a stun like that again, then she would leave him for good. The two eventually got married a year later and lived the rest of their lives happily together. If somebody truly loves you, then you don't take it for granted. Cherish it and let them know they're loved in return. To put someone you love through such a horrible test is bound to make them wary of you like Holly was with Ethan. Don't waste true love. Let me know what you thought of this story in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible stories.